Are you guys ready? Are you guys ready? Hello, everybody. This is Kimchi and Tofu. Yeah, yeah. read zero time. Uh, we're going into episode number eight, nine, and ten. And three episodes at a time. As you guys already know, the link is in the description below. Click that link for our reaction, and then come back here for our review. Yeah. All right. Let's go and start the review. That that knocked at the wrong time. Worst time. <laughs> Holy Sorry, cow. guys. That was like the worst time for to be knocked and Kogi's going crazy. <laughs> it was like the that was, yeah. it was so awkward. It's like, you know, it episode. took away from the anime episode. I know. Ah, oh, Kogi, what am I going to do with you? Arr, 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 arr. <laughs> well, at least uh, Kogi's voice got in there. Yep. Right. Come here, Kogi. Come here. Oh no, he doesn't want to. He come. wanted to cry too. <laughs> no, he was like, "Can't you guys see it? they're freaking filming right now? You want to knock? You want to knock? You want to go right now? Let's go outside! Let's go outside!" That's what happened. Yeah. This is like your kind of anime, huh? You like you like this one? Yeah, yeah. I think so. It's like a psychological. Uh, it keeps me very, very on top, like very interested. Like not saying that I'm not interested in all the other animes that we watch, but it just keeps you on your toes, Ooh. and I like that. Keeps you on your toes more than Overlord. Yes, and really? Oh. Well, no, not more than Overlord. Mm. Well, this one is really full of action. It's it, like nonstop action, and then we've been told to pay attention, like pay lots of attention to what's going on. Wait, so he hasn't died yet, though. No, he so didn't die. I thought that's. I thought he was gonna die today. Yeah, I thought he was supposed to die after mm. when he got bit by all the dogs. But, yeah, that's true. Yeah. But supposedly he's supposed to die in half a day if they don't kill all the dogs that bit him and rem do you think he's gonna die again soon i don't well i don't know if he's gonna die again soon no if they don't kill all these dogs yes that puppy what they need to do is kill that puppy the yeah, puppy's the problem the leader of the pack. yeah the leader of the pack is that puppy you gotta go for the puppy so wait this time, then, who's that? Subaru will cut Rem's horn, uh, Rem's horn off, right? Well, yes. Either cut it off or just smack her good so that she just knocks out of it. There'll be more trouble because at least Rem was taking care of the dogs, right? But, well, yeah, but Rem still is able to, you know, she still has her powers. Oh, it's without just, the demon form. Yeah, except she won't be possessed by the demon, so she won't be going after. Uh, she'll have her senses back. That's true. But she, it says something about a healing. She can heal faster than her demon form, too. Yes. Yeah, that's true. Yes. <laughs> yeah, we're talking about puppies and beating up the puppy. <laughs> yep. Damn, I was just joking about that puppy, too. I can't believe that actually came true. I know. <laughs> you and the rabies, and it, you, your predictions were on point. Oh, man, it's like when I try hard and try to predict something, I'm like totally wrong. But, but when you when joke I, about something... <laughs> then I was like, whoa, that's correct? What? <laughs> My mind works the opposite. Yeah. Well, good job to that. Yeah. <laughs> uh, dude, so I'm kind of sad that we didn't get the full emotion part when he was laying on her lap. Oh, yeah. That was yeah. actually a really good scene because he, you know... The, he let it all out. He, he let it all out. He let out all the stresses, all the pain, all the agony that he's going through... Having to help them. He doesn't want anybody to die. He doesn't want to have to die again. He just doesn't want he's all of this. He's in so much pain. Yeah. He's, you know, he's tortured by everything. Yeah. And he's scared. He's so, he's so scared. And he, for him to be able. He's definitely cursed. Yeah, he's cursed. And the fact that he was able to just cry it out. He can't say anything that exactly to it. But since he was able just to kind of like beat around the bush and then just let it out. Because he, he had to nobody better. to talk to, too. No, he has nobody to talk Only to. Only Beatrice, though. Well, kind of. Kind of. He can't say exactly what's going on or else they grasp on his heart. Yeah. Which she used it on purposely today, too. Yes. On he, episode 10. Yes. Yeah. He did. He, he was very smart. Let's hope he doesn't die again. Or else, where's his respawn point going to be? Is it going to be... I think his respawn point is where um, she's sleeping. Where she's sleeping? Yeah, when, you know, he wakes up and then Pucka comes out. I think that's going to be the new autosave. New autosave? Yeah. Probably. I don't think they'd want us to go through all of that again. <laughs> <laughs> Can you imagine? They just troll you halfway and they... Here's the apple. 
No. No. Because this is like the fifth or sixth day. Because you remember the fourth day is when everything, everybody dies. Yeah. So then they'll be like, yes, is this uh, Karakal headquarters? Uh, you guys are moving uh, unbelievably fast on your animes. We would like for you guys to slow down and add a little bit of fillers. Hmm, what should we do? Let's kill him off again and make him start from point A. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's kill him off and this time, let's start from 1A. That sounds a great idea. <laughs> <laughs> all right, guys. Thank you so much for watching episodes 8, 9, and 10 with us of ReZero. We all hope you have a wonderful day and we'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye. Right on now.